This is a video for CYO Volleyball to help the line judges know how to properly signal and what to watch for when they work the CYO Volleyball games. Line judges should introduce themselves to the referee five minutes before the match so that you can go over any details of the game beforehand. Several things to remember. If possible, wear comfortable clothing and appropriate athletic shoes to allow you mobility in the event that you need to move away from a play. And also, remove or turn off your cell phones so that you won't be distracted during the match. Avoid talking to people if possible and be conscientious in your duties. The CYO Volleyball line judge will be standing at the corner of each end of the volleyball court. They are responsible for watching the entire 30 feet of end line and 60 feet of sideline, which goes all the way to the other end of the court. When the ball lands, if it is in the court or on the line, it is in. And the signal for that is you point to the inside of the court. And if it lands completely outside the court, it is out. And the signal for that is once again, if the ball is in, if you don't have a flag, the signal would be both arms extended towards the court. And if it is out, you flex your arms and indicate it is out. Another duty of the line judge is to watch for foot fault on the server. If you see that the server had stepped on the line prior to contacting the serve, it is a foot fault. And the signal for that is the signal for foot fault without a flag would be. Now, what you should do is simply, if the referee does not acknowledge you, wait until the point ends, and at the end of the point, go over to the referee and inform him or her that you had seen a footfall. If you see a antenna violation, then the signal for that is, and the antenna violation without the flag would look like, once again, if the referee did not see you, simply wait until the end of the point, go over and inform him or her that there was an antenna violation. There is also a touch signal, and the touch signal looks like, and the touch signal with no flag would look like, There is another signal, which is called the no judgment signal. Sometimes you didn't see the play. You don't know where the ball landed. You're not sure. You got screened out. Rather than guess at the call, if you don't have a call for the official, this is the signal you give. And the signal for no call without the flag is simply cross the arms in front of your chest. During timeouts, both line judges should stand at the 10-foot line next to the referee's stand. The reason you want to do this is so that if the referee had any questions or comments for you, he or she can do so very easily. And it also allows you an opportunity to ask any questions that you might have. The normal position for the line judge at the beginning of a serve is at the corner. Your job is to watch the line for any potential foot faults. 
However, if the server decides to serve from the left corner of the court, then what the line judge should do is back up so that you don't get in the way or distract the server. And after the server completes her serve, come back to the spot so that you can watch both the baseline and the sideline. Remember, the service you provide as a line judge is extremely valuable and appreciated by all the players, coaches, and fans. Thank you, and have a great season.